Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to year six of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a text episode can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Today's selection is the entirety of Surah 92, Al-Layl, or The Night, verses 1 through 21. This surah identifies two different ways of life and explains the contrast between their ultimate ends and results. It is stated that these two modes of action cannot be alike in respect of their results. Tafsir for the selection concerns the complementarity of the sexes. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. By the night when it covers with darkness, and by the day when it spreads its brightness. By the mystery of the creation of the male and female. Surely your efforts are directed towards various ends. So for him who gives in charity, fears Allah, and testifies to goodness, we shall facilitate for him the easy way. As for him who is stingy, and considers himself independent of Allah, and rejects the goodness, we shall facilitate for him the hard way. Just think, what benefit will he get from his wealth, if he himself is doomed? Surely it is for us to give guidance, and surely to us belong the end and the beginning. Therefore I warn you of the blazing fire, in which none shall burn except the wretched who deny the truth and give no heed. But the pious shall be kept away from it, the one who spends in charity for self-purification, not seeking any favor from anyone for which a reward is expected in return except seeking the good pleasure of his Lord the Most High. Such persons shall soon be well pleased with Allah. Amin. Concerning verse 3 and the complementarity of the sexes, and I realize some may think it a little old-fashioned to talk about complementarity, but I still found this tafsir to be pretty interesting. Quote, The mystery of the sexes runs through all life. There is attraction between opposites. Each performs its own functions, having special characters within limited spheres. And yet both have common characteristics in many other spheres. Each is indispensable to the other. Love, in the noblest sense, is the type of heavenly love and the highest good. In its debasement, it leads to the lowest sins and the worst crimes. Here then, striving, or jihad, is necessary for the highest good. Thanks. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R- SES.com. Thank you, and be well.